But another evidence of design. Imagine that I am going to give you an assignment. I'd like you to see if you can write a genealogy, but I want you to meet certain requirements. I'd like the number of words should be divisible by seven evenly. In other words, if you divide the number of words you're going to use, I want you to, when you divide that number by seven, it comes out even. That means you can use seven words, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, uh, 49. You get the idea. Whatever number of words you decide to use, it's divisible by seven exactly. How many of you feel you could do something like that? To draw, to write a genealogy? Good, okay, sure, of course, that doesn't sound that hard. I got another requirement. I'd like the number of letters that you have in your assignment when you turn in. I'd like them also to be divisible by seven exactly. Now, when I say divisible by seven, I mean there's no remainder. It's not like you divide by seven and have three left over. So in other words, it divides by seven exactly. The number of words divisible by seven exactly. The number of letters divisible by seven. How many feel you could still do that if you had a little time to fool with it? Maybe a computer to help you. Okay, good. No problem. I'm not through. I'd like the number of vowels to be divisible by seven. Well, that's getting a little harder, isn't it? It's harder to play with that one. I'd like the number of consonants to be divisible by seven exactly. See, not only are the number of letters divisible by seven, the number of each category of letters, vowels or consonants, also divisible by seven exactly. That's starting to get, how many feel they could still do that? No players, huh? I'm not even through. I'd like the number of words that begin with a vowel to be divisible by seven exactly. I'd like the number of words that begin with a consonant to be divisible by seven exactly. If you can do one, you can actually do the other because the sum of those are going to be divisible by seven. You follow me? But okay, I'm not through yet. I like the number of words that occur more than once to be divisible by seven. I like the words that occur in more than one form divisible by seven. And I like those that occur in only one form to be divisible by seven. I'd like the number of nouns to be divisible by seven, and only seven words that are not nouns, okay? I don't think I have any more players, do I? No one wants to try this? I'd like the number of names to be divisible by seven, and I'd also like only seven other kinds of nouns permitted that are not names. I'd like the number of male names to be divisible by seven, and I'd like the number of generations that you're dealing with also divisible by seven. And you've probably guessed by now that what I'm talking about here is the genealogy of Jesus Christ in the first 11 verses of the Gospel of Matthew in Greek.